Hey guys, this is Matt Granger, that Nikon guy for MattGranger.com. Today I want to show you how to set up a non-CPU lens like the Nikon 50mm 1.2 on your Nikon body so you can still use a range of the features. Now you'll note that on the bottom of these sort of lenses there's no uh, contact points. Being non-CPU lenses, they don't have all that electronic wizardry to talk back and forward. It doesn't need it. This one you manually focus and the aperture you change by changing the dial and physically opening and closing the aperture blades. The camera can't do that for you. But the people at Nikon are very, very clever and they've engineered the system such that when you program it into your camera, it'll also meter and it'll recognize when you're adjusting the aperture. So let's set it up and see how exactly it works. Okay, so that's the back of a Nikon D700. Turning it on, it's going to tell us that it doesn't have a lens attached and it doesn't have a memory card. That's not an issue though. So what we're going to do here is actually pop the Nikon 50mm 1.2 onto the camera and then show you what's happening. Okay, so first of all, switching the camera off. This is the first time I'm mounting this lens on any of my bodies, so it's a bit of a big special moment for me. Now let's have a look at the top screen when we turn it on to see what it's telling us. Okay, so switching the camera on. Ignore the E because it is, um, it's got a, it doesn't have a memory card. But you can see it's just set on F6. It doesn't really know what's going on and it can't tell what's going on. As I adjust the aperture ring, it's saying that it's going from F0 through to f7, whereas the lens actually is 1.2 through to 16. Now there's an easy way to fix this. It's so easy, it's ridiculous. I haven't even done this before, but I'm gonna do it on camera to prove it's so easy. Okay, now seriously, could it get any easier than this? We go into menu. In the uh, setup menu, you scroll down to non-CPU lens data, then choose an entry. For some reason, it's always set to be number three as the default. So we'll just go in, I don't use these other two, so we'll set it as number one. Nice and easy, you set it as a, the focal length, 50 millimeter, and then maximum aperture on this bad boy is right down at f1.2. And then you go up to done, hit okay, and amazingly, that's it, the job's done. Then whenever I put this lens on, I just put it into non-CPU lens number one, and it's done. So now let's take a look at the top. Okay, now when we change the aperture, it's currently on f16. As I change, as I you know bring up the settings, it now knows f16. Now as I rotate this through, I'll read them out, and the screen should keep up. f11, f8, f5.6, f4, f2.8, f2, f1.4, and then f1.2. So just like that, now it can meter just phenomenal. Okay, so now that it can meter, I'm all set up to take my first ever shot with this brand new 1.2 lens. And what better thing to take it of than my trusty D5100 video camera and threw that out to all of you. So this is literally the first shot I will ever take with this camera. I'm going to, uh, sorry, with this lens. Okay, now let's get this shot. Beautiful. So just a beauty. I can't wait to head out with this one. Thanks for watching guys. Click through and see the playlist. I'll have lots more 50mm 1.2 videos coming up as I calibrate it, work out the focus confirmation and all that good stuff. I'll see you soon. This is Matt Granger, that Nikon guy for MattGranger.com.